Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Monday, September 2nd. Uh, great to be with you today. I uh, hope you're able to join us this last weekend in worship on Sunday, uh, either in person or online, and, and we pray that you are blessed. Uh, we focused on on the, the time of the weekend, Labor Day weekend, right? This this holiday weekend that, that we're a part of. Um, and of course, I you know I started the thing with saying, hey, what do you think of with with that word holiday, right? And and uh, we we showed some pictures, a place to rest, whatever that means, right? A, a time and a place to rest, and and really that's the um, the etymology of the word where we get holiday from. It comes from holy and day, and it was a day set apart. It was coined in um, um, you know about fourteen hundred, I guess, and and. Um, and, and somewhere in there, it, it, it took on the idea that the, the common worker had actually gave them a time, a moment to rest, huh? Uh, and, and so, you know, it, it really strikes me that we, uh, the hum, in the human condition, we know that we need time to rest. Um, physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, we need uh, time to rest. And, and that's why we call this these holy days, these set apart days. The, in the Bible, the word holy means set apart. It can mean sinless, but oftentimes it means kind of set apart, uh, used for something different. Uh, and, and so that that was kind of how we kicked it off on Sunday. And, and then from my perspective, anyway, the idea that, hey, God was way ahead of us on this, right? Uh, when he set up the first holy day, the Sabbath, uh, this is what he said in, in uh, Exodus. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy, set apart, right? Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you will not do any work, neither you nor your son or daughter, your manservant or your maidservant, nor your animals, nor the alien within your gates. Everybody gets a rest, huh? For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. So even... Uh, he indicated this in how he created the heavens and the earth, right? Seventh day, it said he rested. So, um, therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy, set it apart. And so, and so, God knows we needed to rest before before we understand it. But the, the human condition, we know we need to rest. And and all over the world, you have these these holy days, these days set apart, usually as part of worship, almost. Uh, uh, but societally, uh, days, uh, festival days, right? And in the Old Testament, you did too. Uh, you had these days set apart um, where where people rested. And, and and certainly in the Bible, this points towards the um, the, the, the in a sense, the spiritual rest we have in Jesus, right? Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But I think it's really important to understand, too, um, that that we, in the West, we try to separate the spiritual from the physical so much. Uh, God didn't do that, did he, in, on, on the Sabbath day in the Old Testament? You know, you, you rested physically as well as spiritually within God. You remembered that he was your provider and so forth. And, and so... Uh, uh, Jesus, we, we see this in his ministry, the disciples come back um, uh, from going out two by two and proclaiming the good news and, and pushing back evil, casting out demons and healing people. And, and Jesus said, you're tired, come away with me for a little while and rest, right? And rest. and that, that had to be a physical rest. <laughs> and, and, and yet it, it was a spiritual rest because they, they were with Jesus, huh? So this, this whole idea of, of, of rest, um, we need it. We know we need it. Um, uh, we see it in every society in the world, uh, and and that's why we set La Labor Day apart. That's why we started to uh, we, we set that apart, and and we have a moment, a time, a weekend where we where we look for rest. Um, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about sometimes we look at all the wrong places and do all th all the wrong things to find that rest. Uh, but finally, that rest is found in God, not simply uh, spiritually, but also as it as it allows us to rest in him physically. Why? Because he is the one that provides uh, all things for us, right? And, and and we can trust him. And so we can rest in him. We can give our bodies a rest physically, emotionally, psychologically. And of course, we can rest in Jesus spiritually who has done everything for us to be with God on the cross. It is finished, he said, right? Through his death and resurrection. And, and we trust that as well. We rest in him. So let, let's pray. Dearest Jesus, uh, Labor Day, it, it kind of uh, gave us a moment to pause and remember this rest that we all seek. All of humankind is part of who we are. Uh, and, and from the very beginning, uh, you gave your people a time to rest every seventh day. And then all the festival worship, um, certainly resting spiritually, but also physically. Show us, Lord, where we've maybe divided this up 
where we don't uh, seek for rest in you uh, spiritually. We think that we have to claw our way up to God, and so help us to rest in what Jesus has done. It is finished on the cross. But also physically, Lord, help us to trust in your provision uh, and, and to take a real rest in you um, physically and emotionally and psychologically as well. And Lord, help us then uh, to share this peace with others that we know in you. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.